Hello YouTube, uh, this is the second part of my uh, top 20 uh, new music albums for uh, 2021. So uh, I um, um, showed my uh, uh, the other albums from 2021 in uh, another video. You will find the link in the description uh, below. And uh, so let's get to it. I would like to show now the top 15 of uh, my uh, purchase in new music in 2021. So number 15 is it is a French production and it is uh, called the the artist is called Joao Selva and it is um, a Brazilian musician that came in France. I think that he live in Lyon, uh, in the south of France, and he is produced by uh, Underdogs Records. And uh, so, uh, uh, it is uh, an album from uh, 2021 with uh, uh, like a pop influence and, of course, MPB uh, Brazilian music. So uh, it says second album and it is excellent. Joao Selva, the name of the album is Navigar. Navigar. Sorry, I don't speak Portuguese. Uh, the next one is uh, my uh, favorite African album for this year and it is uh, Amdou Mokhtar from Nigeria, I think, and the name of the album is Afrique Victim. It's a French title, so it's easy for me. And uh, Ndou Mokhtar uh, is part of a quartet. You see them, all of them here. And uh, it is... Uh, uh, Blues from the Desert, so uh, uh, yeah, um, it's a really good one. Um, so if you like uh, Tina Riwen or um, uh, Les Filles de uh, Il Alagad, for example, uh, you should love this one. It is uh, blues, but of course, African blues. I don't know, do you say desert or desert? I don't know, but you will, uh, I think that you you can understand. <laughs> Sorry for my English. Um, the next one, so it is uh, number 13. I, uh, 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 an album that I was uh, looking for for uh, months. Uh, and it is uh, The War on Drugs. Uh, the name of the album is I Don't Live Here Anymore with uh, this uh, humble packaging how, how you can uh, describe it because it's always uh, you know uh, uh, just a simple uh, uh, simple things that he shows in his uh, uh, covers. So, uh, yes, the war on drugs. Uh, I learned something this year because I didn't know that this, like uh, Bruce Springsteen, is part of the style called Hotline Rock. We are, we we learn uh, at uh, every. Uh, part of uh, of your life so uh, on Atlantic the war on drugs number 13 the next one a band that I didn't know anything about uh, before this year and it is called uh, the weather station the name of the album is uh, ignorance and uh, 
it is uh, indie rock. Maybe we can call them that uh, art rock as well. So uh, it is very well produced. So um, yeah, I uh, warmly recommend this uh, this album and. Uh, very well produced, yeah. The weather station. The next one uh, is an American uh, singer-songwriter um, between soul and country, and uh, her name is uh, Val Valerie June. And uh, I think it's for me one of the the artists, the most uh, interesting in. USA at the moment because uh, of her style, of her voice, and uh, you have this uh, insert in the album with this picture and the lyrics uh, in the other side, and uh, yeah. Uh, Great album from her from 2021. She has a very unique voice and a very unique style. The next one is uh, one of the best ad in my collection uh, this year because I didn't have anything uh, of this style before. And it is uh, uh, Ben. I think that it was created by uh, uh, Jill Peterson, uh, the DJ from the BBC in London. And uh, the name of the band is uh, Strata, with the first A written like a four. And uh, the name of the album is Aspects. I think that I uh, it, it could be a reissue because uh, they. Uh, uh, this album was impossible to get uh, during, uh, I think, uh, two or three months, and I, uh, I finally got it. Uh, I think it was in um, during the summer, and it is uh, uh, a Brit funk album, funk disco, you know, and uh, but uh, yeah, so it is on the. Uh, Jill Peterson uh, label, Brunswood Recordings, and uh, uh, it is written here, music from the jazz funk underground, Aspects Strata. It is a very very good ad for my collection. Uh, the next one is uh, jazz funk uh, soul, maybe cinematic uh, music, only instrumental, and it is uh, Manhattan Street Band, the exciting sounds of Minahan Street Band, sorry, Minahan Street Band, and uh, it is their first album, I think, for uh, the label, uh, no, uh, alors là, je dis n'importe quoi, yeah, Um, sorry, uh, I knew this is uh, Dapton uh, Records, but it was produced by Dunham, Dunham Records, which is a division division of Dapton Records. So uh, uh, it is uh, their first album for uh, Dapton. Yeah. So Minahan Street Band. Mina and Street Band was number nine in the my top twenty. The next one is uh, well known, but not for this style of uh, record, and it is uh, Daddy's Home by Saint Vincent. Um, 
in the first listen you don't understand what she is uh, going here because um, she is a, a great artist and uh, maybe she is always trying to surprise you so um, and uh, maybe this is the more uh, uh, the music that will uh, be good to listen the in during the more long period because uh, it's never uh, boring so uh, and each song is made by Saint Vincent is really really good uh, done and really really good produced so uh, yeah this is um, I think maybe this is my uh, favorite uh, album from her I don't have all of them of uh, the of her albums sorry but yeah it is uh, it's really good one the next one I think this is a uh, post punk bang uh, from uh, Sweden and it is um, Viagra Boys uh, Welfare Jazz with this uh, bizarre uh, cover, art cover and um, I don't know if you like the fall you will like that Viagra Boys, Welfare Jazz. Oh, the next one is a good one as well. I think uh, uh, this one is number six and it is uh, a dry cleaning, new long leg. And uh, So it's a uh, quartet um, and uh, it is indie rock more than, than post-punk I think but it is so good it's perfectly written and uh, perfectly produced so um, yes New Long Leg by Dry Cleaning number 6 top five now so the number five is uh, an English band I, I think it is their first album but I'm not sure and uh, the name is Black Country New Road so it is an indie rock uh, English band but uh, you have uh, you have some uh, experiential uh, influence here as well. So uh, yes, they are. Uh, this is never uh, boring. You know, it's always uh, very very. Uh, uh, captivating I don't know and uh, so yes uh, oh it's not it's written here the debut album so it is the the first album from this band Black Country, Country New Road and it comes with uh, a booklet with uh, pictures from uh, an artist that is mentioned in the cover photo from Unsplash by Arobaz Asaf uh, Asafirov Unsplash so I don't know Black Country New Road yes number five number four is an album from uh, a singer, a singer that is uh, a drummer as well, 
and uh, it is produced by uh, Dan Auerbach and uh, for uh, Easy Eye Sound I think this is the uh, the label from um, Dan Auerbach from the Black Keys and the, the name of the album is uh, Introducing Aaron Fraser It is uh, a soul album with this uh, this guy with this uh, high voice, very uh, very high level, yeah. And the the songs are so good, yeah. It's like a classic soul album. Introducing Aaron Fraser. And of course, uh, Aaron Fraser is the drummer of uh, Duran Jones and the Edications, which uh, they um, uh, released uh, an album uh, this uh, winter, I think, but I don't have it. Like I don't have the last of uh, the Black Keys. I may buy this one because I, I like uh, the Country Hill Blues. Um, yes. Number three is one of my favorite band from uh, Australia. It's uh, Neo Soul. It's so jazzy. And uh, it is uh, Aitus Coyote, Mood Valiant. And uh, I have all their albums. And uh, maybe this one is. Uh, uh, different because the label is different. It's a uh, brain feeder uh, label and uh, it, it is more, more in the pop side of the of the jazz maybe. So you have uh, as well an insert with um, some uh, I don't know maybe the the lyrics, yes, you have the, the lyrics with the album. So it was number three, Aitus Coyote, Mood Valiant. The next one is a very recent uh, buy because it was, um, we are uh, Wednesday and I got this one uh, last Monday. Oh, by the way, we are Thursday. And this is uh, uh, Richard Dawson and Circle Henke. Uh, I love uh, Richard Dawson. Uh, he was uh, one of my favorite artists in uh, 2019. And um, this album, he made it with a hard rock band called Circle from Finland. And uh, I think that they are both a uh, fan of each other. And um, yeah, so it is so weird, but I don't know um, his voice. Uh, he sings like um, an opera singer, but he don't have the voice. Uh, and uh, of course it is this unique uh, piece of art so uh, maybe you should I, I don't recommend this because I don't know maybe some people could uh, absolutely not love that but uh, for me it's uh, it's perfect yeah if you like uh, I don't know maybe uh, Scott Walker maybe you can try this. Uh, musically is it's different because it's more folk but uh, in the way he plays with his voice yeah let's try it and the number one uh, it was um, it was not a surprise because I um, I was um, seeking this for months I didn't know it was not uh, released yet, but 
uh, it is um, an artist, a uh, trumpet player and singer from uh, the label uh, International Anthem. And uh, I think it's a live album. So um, it's very weird to show that, but it is what it is. So um, And it is Jamie Branch, Fly or Die Live. So we can say that this is not new music from 2021 because uh, it is the the live version for uh, the two albums Fly or Die 1, Fly or Die 2 from Jamie Branch in uh, the label International Anthem. But the way it is uh, produced the sound is so good here uh, and it's so um, alive so um, and I love the way that uh, she can uh, play uh, sometimes jazzy music sometimes bluesy music sometimes uh, it's soul so it, it is a field of so many genres. She can do everything, I think. So uh, yeah, it's my favorite new music release in 2021. So I uh, highly recommend this album. For me, it's perfect, yeah. So this is it. Thank you for watching and um, I just want to remind for those who speak French that I already have uh, a French uh, YouTube channel and uh, which almost the same name as this one as this one but uh, not the same. And uh, uh, so uh, you can uh, see me in this uh, channel, not at the moment because I'm doing some uh, videos when uh, I only uh, show uh, records and not myself, but uh, uh, I think uh, that it will come back uh, soon. So uh, yes, um, thank you for watching. And maybe I will uh, make uh, two uh, new videos on 2021. One on uh, um, my uh, first, my best of uh, in the ratios from uh, 2021, and another one maybe what are the best original records that I bought uh, this year. Yeah. So thank you and please comment. Bye.